in the atmosphere, right? Trying to get closer to at least average. We've been so far below average. You take a look at the record cold that we've had, and it's not just about the daily record cold. It is the monthly record cold records that have been set. So we've set 124 record low highs and 113 record lows. We don't see a lot of these numbers, right? You know, we always talk about record highs and record warm overnights here, but it's been all about the record cold and the start to April. So 24 degrees below Low zero. That was the, the temperature in Stanball, Michigan. This now a new state record for cold for the month of April. So it still has to be verified as all records do, but it beat the old record, which is 17 below by a lot. I mean, this is significant. So we saw the record cold for the state set yesterday in Michigan and now temperatures, while they're not quite as cold, they're still pretty cold out there. We've got temperatures that are starting your day only in the low 30s in places like Chicago, Detroit, of course, the farther north you go there. So we find some of the colder spots. We look at the wind chill. It feels like it is in the 20s. It feels like it is a February day out here in the upper Midwest. So here's the pattern. We're still going to be looking at this trough across the east. It's still going to keep us very chilly for the first couple of days this week. Temperatures today, highs are only going to be in the upper 30s here. We're talking more like what we'd expect for an overnight low. And that's going to be our high temperature for the afternoon. Um, and even that, it's a little cold for overnight lows. <laughs> so we look at these temperatures today, places like Bismarck and Omaha and Minneapolis, all running below zero. We see that all the way down, actually even into Texas. And we'll talk more about your weather here coming up here. But Chris, there is a sign of a little bit of a warm up. Ooh, <laughs> and if you want a smile on your face this morning, I think I'll talk about the problems we're going to have from the heat because that was a good looking forecast, right? You got sunshine, you got 80s, but there are problems that are going to come with this warm up here. So let's talk about it. By the middle to the end of the week, our jet stream starts to take a favorable pattern for severe weather. So watch our jet stream digging on in. It takes that negative tilt, which will allow for a lot of upward movement of air, a lot of clouds start to building, and that will happen pretty easily with this warm air. Warm air rises. Dew points are going to be going up. Warm moist air rises even easier. So we're going to see that as the moisture comes back with those southerly winds right here across the middle of the country. So we're going to be looking for the risk of thunderstorms. This is your Friday forecast. We're getting you all the way ready for the end of the week. Possible severe weather from Texas right up into southern Missouri. And you look at this time of year and where you would expect uh, just based on history, expect to have severe weather. It's more back out towards uh, the southern plains, but we're not too far removed from that in terms of what we're talking about uh, for the risk area getting into the end of this week. Now, this season has actually been a little bit below average. Take a look. When you look at the tornado reports and the trend, we are, in fact, not a little bit, we're well below average, 132 compared to 241 average. But, Steph, certainly we know anything can happen. The year is still pretty young. Chris, we'll send it over to you back again. Let me show you what's going on with the winter weather update. We'll start with some of the spots that have picked up quite a bit of snow this winter. Erie, Syracuse, Marquette, Caribou, and Meach of Oregon comparing all of you guys here up over 100, close to actually 200 inches in Erie. I just can't believe you guys have not made it to 200 inches despite how cold the second half of this winter has been. You just haven't squeaked out that additional seven and a half inches that you need. All right, will you get it in the coming days? Well, Erie, we're not going to focus on you. What we're going to focus on on the upper Midwest with our next big storm system that digs in. This is the big pattern change we are going to see here. Big dip in the jet stream. It's going to allow the warm air to come up out ahead of it. We will be talking severe weather, and Steph will get to that in just a second. But on the back side of this, we've got plenty of cold coming on down, and watch for huge crashing temperatures. So, yes, you warm up this week in North Dakota, in South Dakota, in Minnesota, Chicago. We get our first 70s of the year, and then we crash with our temperatures. So watch what happens with the with the falling temperatures, we will be watching for snow. This is your Friday forecast. The temperatures falling. We've got some very strong gusty winds with that snow. Will we see blizzard conditions? That's a possibility. Certainly is, especially right across this area. You know, wide open spaces. This is what's known as Blizzard Alley. You look back at history, 41 to 74 blizzards here have occurred back over, you know, the past uh, since 1959. So that, that's an area that is just prime for that kind of weather. Chance of that on Friday. Then on Saturday, we see the cold and the snow on the move. Minneapolis is back to us into Wisconsin, into northern uh, Michigan, the UP of Michigan. More snow coming our way as well. You know, this is the area that we saw that 24 below zero.
zero on Sunday morning here, setting a new state record for cold. There's more cold and there's more snow. In fact, some heavy snow at that possible here across the UP. Snowfall across North Dakota, South Dakota, even down into northern Nebraska, back into northern Iowa. We've got more snow coming our way as well. And so, yeah, we've got the cold coming back. It is a warm-up, but then the cold comes in, and we watched that over the weekend, spreading back into the Great Lakes. Look at this big ball of cold air that sets up over the east, all the way down, seeping back into the south. The pattern actually over the next two weeks is to see below average temperatures. There'll be ups and downs here, but overall, some below average temperatures across the north. Now, Steph, when we get the ups, we'll